Hello and welcome to a game called Firewatch. This is a game that's been on my radar for a very, very long time. It's a story-driven open world game and I'm just so, so excited about this. Like, so excited. So this is a preview build. This is not the full game by any stretch, but it's the first two chapters. The full game comes out on the 9th of February, I believe, on PC and PS4. I have heard rumours, not being announced officially yet, but Xbox One version is coming. So your Xbox people, don't worry too much. I'm, I'm here, I've, I've heard it's coming at some point. So anyway, if you guys want to see more of these videos, smack the like button as always, leave a comment about what you like about the game, perhaps, and um, let's jump in. Let's do this. Oh my god, I'm so ready for this. So ready! Oh, we're in. Hello. We're here already. Enter the lookout tower. Does this, is this how the game begins? I don't, I'm not sure. Perhaps it doesn't. Perhaps it's like a sort of preview build. It sort of jumps us into the middle of the game, perhaps. I don't know. We're about to find out. It's running fairly smooth. I've got everything on ultra or high, so it's looking pretty good. 1080p as well. Running nice and smooth. Ooh. It's got this like sort of shelf shaded sort of style. It's not like a obviously a realistic vibe, but it looks good. It looks very good. Obviously it's night time as well. Right, so I'm using controller, Xbox One controller, because I prefer it when I'm recording. Right, let's turn the power on. Oh, hello. The power's on. Ooh, so we can pick out all the trees. Tower. Hello? Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Oh, hello, radio. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, activate radio. Hello. Can I respond to that? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then, can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Well, so we can reply, eh? So these are the options we can we can perhaps pick. We've got like a time limit as well. Uh, 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 you were brilliant against your mum. Nobody back home can stand you. You've killed three ex-husbands. Let's go for that okay. one. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. <laughs> Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Mm, not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. We've got a job, guys. Yeah, day one. He's actually writing as well. Good morning, Henry. <laughs> well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. How the pos- how can she see us? How can she possibly see us? I have no idea. Right, the radio, right, fair enough. Activate the radio. Uh, sorry, I sort of slept. Oops. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? <laughs> Lucky. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? I see it. So that must be the open world. All right. Uh, yep. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, compass? So to face Are those west. fucking fireworks? What? Oh, they are fireworks. Who's firing fireworks in... what? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get 
down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay, I guess that's our job. Uh, can I write them a ticket? Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? <laughs> get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Wow, so the same code for everyone. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> it's definitely not secure. One, that, that's the code I use. I, should, I shouldn't use that, should I? And I shouldn't admit that on YouTube as well. Right, so, I guess we need a backpack. Put our compass away. Uh, the door. Got a backpack. Do we need anything else? I don't think so. The supply box is on the way, so... Right, can we run? Uh, how cool was that? So I put his, his hand there so he didn't hit his head. Very clever. So this guy's called Henry, that's the character we are. And this is uh, the open world. Wow. I'll read the map. Uh, I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> where are we going? So is that is that me on the map there? Can we look at it? Yeah, we can zoom in as well. Alright, so which way do we go to? So we need to just head west, don't we? Which is that direction. Okay, alright, let's go. Let's put my map away. And let's speed up, let's run. Where's this supply box? Man, this game is pretties. Very, very pretties. Ooh. I'm not exactly sure how big this world is, but, oh, hello. Hop over. Let's go for my compass again. So I wanna keep heading west, don't we? So I guess we just keep going along this trail. Sort of hope for the best. I can hear some birdies. I can definitely hear fireworks. And this is the supply box. Yay. Right, open. Right, so one, two, three, oh no, three, four. Done. That is so secure. It's unreal. Right, so do a copy of this map. Got some markers down on it. Good. And there should be some supplies in here. Is that some food as well? And a note. It's a note. It's a note. Is that a granola bar? <laughs> Healthy. Uh, I can examine it, apparently. Ooh. Can I take it? Hey, a snack. <laughs> hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably going to eat it. Where's that? I'm at the cash box. I guess we should eat it then. Right, hold B. Yum, 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 yum. Also, there's a note. What does this note say? Well, this is a note from Dave. So this is from the 7th of July, 1986. So I'm guessing this is probably around that time frame, this game. Uh, Ron. Hey, man. Guys couldn't take it, so I locked up this lockout, this this lookout, and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hike it into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. <laughs> I like Dave already. Uh, I'm gonna keep it for the lols. Why not? Uh, let's close it. Right. Um, yeah, just leave it open, I guess. Right. Let's keep heading west, which is this way. So the fireworks, we go. Where are we? I hope we're going the right way. <laughs> it seems like one of those little places where you can get lost. Pretty much like real life. And getting getting lost in this place would be very, very scary. It's like a two-day hike away from like any sort of citizens or anything like that. Whoa, this view. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Oh, is that a date? I can definitely hear fireworks. That is for sure. Well, there's a tree stump there. Can I report it in? <laughs> Whoa. Definitely hear fireworks still. What the hell? Has that been clawed? Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. 
We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Oh, the f those fireworks, they're still going off. I need to hurry up. This forest is going to burn down in seconds if they, if, if they go off somewhere they're not supposed to. Alright, so we're going to go down this rock fall, which does not look safe, but... I'm hopeful. Oh man, this, is lo this looks very, very dodgy. It's getting... Oh, weird colour. Whoa! <gasps> oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, Henry, you look a bit... A little bit chubby. <laughs> is he good? This is not the sort of place you want to get injured. Uh, should I report it? Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Oh, he got injured. Well, it's not injured, but it's just... It, that's why it went a bit dark, almost. Where are we going to... Port. I'm not sure where to look. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Right, I can definitely see a campfire right in front of us. See where that smoke is? <gasps> Beer cans, you little bastards. Uh, clean up, there you go. Let's do some cleaning. Should I pick up all the cans? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why I'm doing this. I mean, where's that Kiali going as well? It's all like disappearing. Into my backpack, perhaps? I'm like the ultimate cleaner. I mean, you got you got to clean up the forest, haven't you? You just got to. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. I should probably should report that, actually. Oops. It's all good. There's some bags over here, look. What is this? Ooh. Well, they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Okay, don't do them. There's some whiskey. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Safe for later. <laughs> oh, take that. Is that wise? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, man, there's fireworks here. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Confiscated. Is that wise? Are we going to piss them off too much? In the middle of the... In, uh, in, uh, in the middle of nowhere. That doesn't sound very wise. I'm not pissed off some kids. Kids get determined and get very angry very quickly. Or teenagers. That's scary. I'm just, they're stomping this out. Jesus. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first <laughs> instinct was the right one. <gasps> what? That's a bra. <laughs> Didn't expect to see that. I can definitely hear music as well. Okay, then. It, it sounds like teenager music. Report underwear. Uh, there are, uh, panties. Panties. There are what? I don't uh, want to say that word again. Why? Because you're trying to. just drops them on the floor. Panties. Oh, some more panties? There must be two at least. Okay. I can't even, can I examine this? Some more. Yeah, there's a. Uh, oh. Yes? More panties? Uh, there's two naked women. There are two what? naked ladies Where? right here. Where? Can you handle <laughs> that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and <laughs> do your job. I can't see them yet, where are they? Okay. Oh, there they are. Oh, I found them. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, <laughs> enjoy dealing with that. Hey! Uh, you know you're lighting fireworks, you idiots. Please call. I'm gonna say, just call it with the fireworks, you gotta please. Take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea, what? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's roading. Why do you guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Oh, that's not what we're doing. Can you please stop? All right. Let's be responsible. 
Uh, what should we say? I don't know. I'm so for bothering you. I took all of your shit. <laughs> don't say that. That might piss him off. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, oh. and we should be free to do whatever we want. And free from any peeping tongue. I can't I see said anything. Sorry. Oh my God, is that what you are? Bark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Where, where are they going? Where'd they go? It was vanished. Oh, this radio is pissing me off. This boom box. Hey, that go okay? No, it didn't, okay? I'll turn it off. I'll throw in the water. <laughs> See what happens if I throw in the water. Whee! <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Um, hey. I hope they drown. I hope they drown. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat? Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. Oh, what's this, what's this sign? Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So oh. I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. So I'm gonna follow this sign here, okay. So that's where our tower is. I think there's multiple towers. Maybe three, I'm not sure. We'll find out, I guess, at some point. Alright, climb back over this. Please don't break. But so far, I'm interested to see where this game goes. Does it get darker? Is it just dealing with kids? Is it exploring? I don't know. I'm very, very excited to see what happens. But so far, I like the art style, I like the, the, the dialogue in this game is incredible. Like, absolutely incredible. Like the guy in it, the female woman, whoever she is. So, spot on. Spot on. Very, very impressed. I mean, this is sort of like an indie game as well. It's not a fully-fledged EA game or Ubisoft or whatever. It's it's just a small studio working on a game. Some very, very talented people as well. Right. Oh. I don't know exactly where we're going now, to be honest. Let's click my map. Right. So let's zoom in. So that's... Is that us there? It's quite hard to work out exactly what this map is as such. Ah, oh, so that is us. And there's a tower. Medicine wheel, what's that? I have no idea. <laughs> so I guess we just got up this lake. It's all like turn right, I guess. Alright, I guess that works. Let's go. Sprint before it gets dark. That's the last thing we want. A bit of a confession to make. Okay. Uh, should we silent? Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Ah, oh, what? You kidding me? I've missed out what a confession is. Okay, right. So this you have to play this very, very just direct, I guess. Apparently, it, it may have different endings. Perhaps I have. I have no idea. I have no idea. This game obviously is not even out yet. I don't know. Whoa. What the hell was that? Nearby storm? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, Shit. that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Cheers. Cheers, cheers for the tip. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. I guess I don't want to go into that cave. Ugh. I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Oh my god. Right, let's open. Let's try to reply to that. Nope. <laughs> I'm oh, busy opening up this up. That one. Right, four. What's in here? Right, copy of the map so I can mark some stuff down. Little tickets and stuff. What, what's a poster? I like the poster. That is some cool art. A oh, flashlight. That will be useful. Oh. Ah. <laughs> he just blinded himself. Perfect. And some horns. Why are there horns in here? There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. 
Okay. It's good to know. Should I examine it? Ooh. It's a bone. An ankler thingy. All right, I'm going to drop it then. <laughs> and then close this. Well, there is a cave there. But do I want to go in that cave right now? I don't know. There may be bears in there. Do I want to go into there? I mean, I want to sort of turn... I want to sort of go up there, really. Hmm. Can I climb this? Probably not. Okay, I'm going in here, then. Uh, can I go in this cave? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Of course. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <laughs> God damn it. What's that light? Huh? There's some guy out here. Some guy? Who's that? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What? What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I mean, but who was that guy? He sort of looked at us. And then just like ran away. I'm not sure I'm quite up for that just yet. So I guess this does have some sort of like spooky side to it as well. Right, where are we right now? We're quite close to the tower. We're getting there. I mean, I'm sl I'm slightly lost, but I'm not. <laughs> that makes any sense at all. I don't want to get back up. Jump over here. I guess we got this little. I mean, this looks semi-secure, ish. This looks quite dodgy, I'm going to be honest. Where the hell's that guy gone? Yeah, I, re I reckon it's going to turn pretty dark very quickly. If we've, perhaps we find the females again, but perhaps they're not alive? Don't know. Just a sneaky suspicion. Oh, he's knackered. Oh, love. thank God it went the other way. <laughs> Imagine it. Right, is that our, is that our one up here? What's this sign? Wooden sign. Ah. What? The hell is this? I don't like this at all. Can I examine it? I can. Ooh, it's a sign. <laughs> can I just throw this cliff? Goodbye! This <laughs> what the hell? It doesn't even break. Wow, I just see a generator just here. Can we turn it on? Is that good enough? Let's quit that. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... Okay. What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I oh. could never. I think he's quite funny, let's be honest. Uh, um, toilet. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms <laughs> of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. What? What's this doing here? Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. What? You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, man, they trashed the place. Shit! What the hell? Put the time right back? Oh my god. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. What do I do in the meantime? Okay, that still works, apparently. Photo of what? Oh, who's that? Is that his daughter? <gasps> That's him! Oh, hello. I look so friendly. I like him. 
Okay, I put in a call. Oh. Um, that was fast. That was fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Uh, the, the guy maybe? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. Until now. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Currently, I don't. Uh, tell me where to find a gun. <laughs> Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Shit. Grenades? I'll Grenades. see what I can do. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> okay, we're going to stay too. Oh, man, so far I'm enjoying this. I want to see who the hell wrecked our little treehouse. <laughs> Wake up. So that window's still smashed. That's not even funny. Hey, wake up. What do you want? It's too early for this. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Uh, so what should we do next? I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Hank? My name's Henry. Uh, it's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, alright. Can I throw this out the window to have interest? No. Oh. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll we'll try and find out who cut the line, who cut communications. It sounded a little bit mysterious, isn't it? Is there some weirdo in, in the forest? What's going on? I have no idea. Thank you guys for this episode. I think there's one more episode to go, perhaps, before the preview sort of ends. I don't really know, to be honest. But anyway, see you guys soon, and bye-bye.